James puffed along by the canal. Thomas raced up alongside. Wait, James, he cried. Look at your reflection. Green flags spoil your bright red paint, puffed Thomas. But James didn't think so. He thought he looked splendid. And he puffed off smiling. Thomas's idea to take the team hadn't worked. He had to think of another one. James was still puffing proudly to collect the Sodor team. Thomas was puffing along too. He was thinking hard. Suddenly, an idea flew into his funnel. Thomas pulled up to the signal box. He was pleased that James hadn't yet arrived. Quick, sir! You must change the points. So the signalman pulled a big lever. Then Thomas watched James fly into the siding. The siding hadn't been used for a long time. It was very overgrown. Thomas heard scratching and scraping sounds. When Thomas saw what had happened, he could not believe his eyes. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. All the green and white flags had been ripped from James's funnel and cab. The Sodor team colors are ruined, cried James. Thomas felt terrible. I'll go for help, he said, and he steamed quickly away. Thomas felt very silly. He wanted to take the team, and he had spoiled everything. Just then, he saw Bertie. Bertie was taking children to the football game. They were all carrying flags and wearing scarves. But Bertie had broken down. Smoke was coming from his radiator, and his engine made a wheezing sound. Please, Thomas, said Bertie. Can you take the children to the football game for me? I'm sorry, Bertie, puffed Thomas, but I have to help James. Thomas felt bad. He had already got James into trouble, and now he couldn't help Bertie. Suddenly, Thomas had an idea. I can take your passengers, Bertie, and I can help James, too. So Thomas quickly collected Annie and Clarabelle, and he took the children to the siding. They had a wonderful time. They decorated James with their scarves and flags. He looks splendid. When James arrived at the football field, everybody cheered. They all thought he looked wonderful. I look even better than last year, puffed James proudly. Thomas was very pleased. Maybe I could pull the school team next year, Thomas asked hopefully. James thought that was a grand idea. But only if you get to the yard first, he teased. 